What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is something exciting and new for Genesis Detailing. And for those of you guys who are new to the channel don't know me, I'm Nick, the owner of Genesis Detailing. And we're at a shop today, just knocking out some jobs. We got three cars in here, getting ceramic coated. We have some wraps going on over there. Just a ton of stuff always going on in the shop. But, for today's video, a lot of you guys have asked me what setup we use for mobile. Because we do have a shop and we also do mobile. And if you guys are familiar with the channel, you saw my trailer setup that I had previously. And today, I want to, you guys, I want to show you guys the new van set. And if you watched my last video, I'll put a link to it right here. But we talked about the story of how Genesis Detailing got started, how I got started, and when. And quick little summary. So just to give you some background on why the van's so important right now. We started out of the back of a Nissan Altima. Then we got a truck, which was my F-150. And we got a trailer, a little 5 by 8 enclosed trailer. Now we're working our way up to a van. This is one of the many that we're gonna start doing. So let's get to this video, show you a little B-roll clips of what's inside. We'll start talking, explaining to what it is. So introducing our new 2021 Ford Transit Connect mobile detailing van. What we did to this thing was a ton of work. These things don't come as is obviously and we built it ourselves in the shop. And let's go over what we did and how this process got started. The first thing we did to this van was remove the existing flooring from the factory and added a three quarter inch piece of plywood with some rubber mats on top. What that did is obviously make it usable to where we can screw anything into the bottom without having to go into the frame, as well as present it like a nice flat leveled piece of mounting for whatever we gotta put on top. Then to cover up the ugly wood, we put a nice rubber floor mat that I bought on Amazon. This is used for gyms. It has like a nice little fake diamond plate look and it's gonna be easier to clean rather than the wood and obviously prevent any leaks. We also painted that wood underneath just in case there are any leaks that we don't see that we won't cause any mold and it'll lock that wood in. And if you guys have a Transit Connect that doesn't have windows like mine, you can know like these are less than an eighth of an inch thick so you can't drill anything in or out of them. And especially on the little side doors right here, there's no, there's a window supposed to be here, but it's just the same aluminum panel that's like on this side. So what we did was put a half inch piece of plywood there, screwed it into the frame, then we carpeted it to give it a nice little factory look. So now no one will know that we ever put a piece of wood there. These pieces of wood allowed us to now structure the frame that I wanted to hold the water tank. So we have that on both sides. I don't know if you can see behind that, but there's some carpet back there with the plywood. And that allowed us to put our beams underneath, like right there. See if I can get that to focus. So this piece of wood there, as well as the cross beam going perpendicular to hold up all this plywood. When I built this van, I wanted it to separate ourselves from all the other vans that you see out there. And the biggest thing that I wanted to do was make it look seamless and as if it was a factory build from everything inside of it. From the generator to the pressure washer and all the fabricating of the wood. So that was my biggest thing is to keep it organized efficient and very very easy to use so once you get all the wood put in was where we decided where to put the water tank and figure out how much room we have left before we started mounting stuff up there now inside here we have all our product our vacuum buckets buckets gas tank the blower right here we have our extension cord and a fill up hose so we hook that up to the back to fill up the water tank we also have our partition board right here to keep our employees safe while driving the van without having to be hit from the behind with anything that if anything was flying of course 
And when you're doing RVs or like big fans, you can't reach the top with the ladder. We have this microfiber madness pole with a microfiber wash mitt. So this is safer than a brush, obviously. Similar to like what you use on your vehicle, but just on an extended pole. Then we have our bottle holders here. These are from Polka Premium. You can see the PP right in the back there. I had to order these online. They were on back order, but the reason why I wanted these ones specifically is because they hold the 32 ounce bottle like these ones. So we can put more product in there without having to refill as often. So the products I put in there are the ones that we use a lot more than the most, which is like our detail spray, wheel and tire cleaner. Then all these ones are just the stuff we use on like maintenance vehicles, obviously tire shine, but OP tire shine is really easy to use where you don't have to use that much. So this will technically be our exterior side, while the other end, we have all our interior products right here. And then you can see right on top here, we have our pull-out drawers with all our towels in them from our exterior to interior as well. Keep them organized, all our plush ones, and in the middle we have like our door jams. Keep everything enclosed so no dust gets in them or debris, causing to mar paint, especially when you're on a mobile job. We do a lot of maintenance mobile, so that's very crucial to us, is keeping all our products clean and organized. The biggest issue I found with this was the height of the van. I would like to put bigger bins to hold more towels, but because of the room I had to work with, these ones fit perfectly, so I just decided to go with those. And obviously, every time we come to the shop, we refill them and wash. So moving on to the back, let's we'll start off with what kind of water tank we have in here. I had to order this water tank online. It took about a month to get here, and it's a 100-gallon water tank, and I bought it from Plasti Mart. This tank is pretty good. It's tall and slim, which is very nice. It doesn't take up too much room, and I just blocked it off with some wood on the other side so you don't have to see it. But you can see right here at the very bottom, this piece of wood, I know you can't really see that, but this wood is lifted about 8 inches high. It's sitting on a pallet right now that I painted and restructured to gravity feed the pressure washer no problem without having any issues of like water starvation. Then we have our direct line of plumbing with the main shut off valve going into one line being our pressure washer, the other line going to our fill up hose right here to fill up buckets and also to fill up the tank like I mentioned. Then you can see our Cox reel with 100 feet of hose with our MTM wand and pressure washer set up. We have our jump line right here leading down to our Krenzel 1622 TS pressure washer. I was pretty skeptical with using the Kranzel because of how much power it needs to run itself and especially when you're mobile, you have to be self-sufficient. So we have our generator here, this is a iGen 4500 made by Westinghouse. This is one of the few that I found that were capable of running the Kranzel without any issues. I know many of you guys might be using the Predator 3500, so I actually did try that one before I bought the Westinghouse and the reason why I returned it and exchanged it was because the pressure washer from the Kranzel, every time that initial pull would come, it would trigger it and not allow the pressure washer to kick in. So I would have to keep it in overdrive mode and like I got lucky sometimes to where it would turn on, other times it wouldn't work. So I didn't like that, wasn't a fan of it. So I switched over to the beautiful Westinghouse 4500, which I have zero problems whatsoever with. It runs it no problem and it works amazing. It's actually very, very quiet. So I push to start and a nice little active remote start and shut off. One issue of having this in the van, this is gonna be my next project, is to be able to have this on a pullout cart right here. And I have some fireproof stuff that I got from one of our family friends who works on Navy ships. So this stuff is completely fireproof, will not even like smoke up at all. You can put a lighter to it and nothing will happen. So that's catching the heat from the exhaust and allowing it to release. So normally we just move the pressure washer over a little bit away from the wall to allow that setup to be a little bit better. But I would like to put this on a rolling cart here soon, pull it out when, we're, when it's in use so we're not filling up the entire van with some carbon monoxide. So right here is something I put that was very important that most of you might not have, but I would rec highly recommend it. Just a key holder for when you're putting your client's keys away. Instead of putting them in your pocket, like setting them on a nice shelf or something like that, put them on a key holder, looks professional, super easy, and you won't forget where you put the keys. Now moving up to right here, we have a nice little shelf that we put extra tools while we're working on, or if you want to put the foam tin up there, stuff that you're not putting away entirely, just set them up on here before the next job. And obviously before you drive away, put it away. Then right on top here, we have some open baskets. These baskets are to be used to obviously put our dirty towels in our used towels. This one right here is for exterior using only the drenched towels that are pretty soaked. That one's like damp ones that we can probably use in the next car. Then here's like our interior and door jam. And right here we have our bucket for all our brushes, carpet, any sort of tools that we need while we're on the job. So having those little buckets or baskets there are super nice because you can just finish up with a towel instead of laying it on the floor or on the, like I said, on this little shelf I built. You just throw them in the basket where it belongs and call it a day. Close the doors and move over. So moving on to the other side of the door, I'll show you what we got going on in here. So to start it off, it's basically the same thing as the other side. Only thing I added really was this nice business card holder. 
spring loaded. If anyone drives up to you while you're on a mobile job, obviously you guys know like you gotta search for your business cards when they're, they're in the cup holder. Adding that has been like one of the nicest things I've done since my last setup and super easy, just go to it real quick. But inside here, we got our rigid shop vac, amazing. Got our easy can right there. Push the button and fill it up, fill it up without having to like tilt it too much. Our blower, two buckets. And actually just to show you guys something real quick, on um, this little brush thing, I have two hooks that hold like brooms. They squeeze that thing so they don't go anywhere while driving. But that's just about it. And set up super simple. And I know some of you guys might be asking like, oh, there's not enough room for your extractor, or air compressor and all that stuff. And guys, I only do mobile for just maintenance details and like an express detail, nothing too intense. Anything like that, I would have you schedule in for the shop. So mobile is strictly just maintenance. So this is all the tools you need for that, just for basic car washes. Spray waxes, even add a clay bar in there if you need to, but for anything like that, like I said, it just take it to the shop so you're not out in the elements while clay bar in a car potentially scratching it. So, this setup works for us. If anyone has any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Leave your questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, I think I went through everything. Oh, if you guys want to see the inside real quick of where we go and drive and sit, you know, like where the driver sits, super simple. Nothing crazy, it's not even like little like adjustable mirrors which sucks, but it's pretty nice. It has a nice screen in there, it's a screen in there for Apple CarPlay, anything like that. It's got a reverse camera, it's got tons of storage, a big cup holder, and a storage compartment right there. You have also overhead storage way up there above your head to put like your hat or anything like that. But yeah, it's super basic in here. I didn't buy these things for luxury, just to get the job done and go home, make some money. So that's just about it for the van overview. Um, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is just a vinyl wrap. I know a lot of you guys might like it and you want that done to your van. So vinyl, viral vinyl works at the shop that did it. And they're just my subtenant here. We work together, we have the same shop. It's just super convenient, so they designed it, printed it, and installed all in the house, which is super nice. And they killed it, I mean, the design is awesome. How does what smell? Show them the new air freshener. I'm just about smell? to wrap the video, but show them the new air freshener. Oh. Hell yeah. Open it up. So we just designed those and they smell delicious. Look at them all. There's also a little I tear slot on the bottom. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Why is this nice tear slot? No, no, no. You save what? I, I roll it down a little bit so it lasts longer. Ah, so you guys have little tips and tricks right here. I'll come on and show you what's up. Come on, I need a first initial smell test. That smells like laundry detergent. <laughs> oh, man. I'm fucking with you. No, it smells good. It's like fresh. <laughs> It does smell fresh. Clean car smell. It's not black Genesis ice. Genesis detailing only. It's not yes, black sir. ice, baby. It's not black ice. We'll say I that. I love black ice. Black ice really? Black no. ice smells great. Black ice nah, one. I'm not a fan. Say what's up to Hokoba. Don't get, look how shy he gets. He runs away right away. So that's gonna wrap up the video for today. If you guys did like this video and you guys enjoyed this van, then press the thumbs up, press subscribe, stick around for more detailing clips. Um, what I mentioned in my last video was also to leave a comment down below of what video you guys want us to make, and I'll hopefully pick one of your guys' comments and choose that for the next video. So stay tuned. See you guys next time. Peace out.